the milestone for Toshiba in this region, basically we are market leaders for Toshiba storage solutions, which includes the hard disk, SSD, solid state drives, and the memory products. And this year has been very phenomenal for us. We have grown over 40% year on year. And that's a massive growth considering the market condition in this region. So we've been able to expand our market because our strategy is go wide, go deep. We have gone deep into African markets. We expanded within the Middle East. We have consolidated our channel position within the Middle East market and also the retail segment. And we are doing a phenomenal uh, growth in all these products. Well, reseller business, they need to value add. They need to innovate, right? These are the two key things which they need to do. Others, it's very difficult to sustain in today's uh, market situation. So rather than moving products, just move, box moving, which I've always been saying, box moving is not going to add any value to anybody. Unless you add value in terms of minor solutions or major solutions, or come up with innovative solutions in terms of how they distribute their products or how they connect with the end customers is going to bring in a lot of change for them. Yeah, many of them are moving to value add, but I think most of them are still on the lip service. I mean, they're saying we need to value add, but we have not seen much of value add because they get caught into the system of box moving because that's where they get trapped into in terms of the rebates and a lot of other incentives which the brand gives, but they should not forget that unless they brand add value to the brand uh, or to the business they're doing, it's very difficult to sustain in the long run. I don't think it's going to affect the re-export because there is no VAT for re-exports, but for internal uh, uh, consumption within uh, UAE and also in Saudi, I think the consumers are prepared to pay the tax. I mean, they need to know that, that they have to pay tax because they're going to pay a tax for Dewa, they're going to pay a tax in Saudi for petrol. So it's any product they buy, the 5% tax needs to be there. We, I think the consumers are getting used to it. Maybe there'll be initial hiccup in the initial stage, but then that will become a norm to pay the tax because that's required for any country to move ahead. See, Saudi is a very important market. It's a, very important for the Middle East region. If, if Saudi is firing, other regions also will benefit. And I'm glad that a lot of initiatives has been taken by the government there. The lot of things, new technology which is being implemented because most of the time we only talk about technology, implementation is very weak in most of the countries in GCC. So once implementation starts by the government, it's going to be really effective. So that, that will fuel the channel business, that, that will help the IT and telecom business in this region because there is implementation, there's action which is happening on the ground. So it's not just on the drawing board, it's going to be implemented. So that's going to be a good thing. For 2018, we're expecting it to be much better than 2017. Though there is VAT coming in, but that's uh, always there because you cannot live without taxes in any country for long run. Right? So 2018, there's a lot of things which will fuel the growth because we are seeing what's happening in the region because a lot of things need to be done for Expo 2020. So that's going to fuel the market growth. There's a lot of action happening in Saudi in terms of the new cities and the new home which is coming in. So a lot of activities which is just coming up and which needs more focus and that will fuel the growth in 2018. Let's look at the business to the capacity of what we can handle. Because if you go much beyond what you can handle, then you're going to end up in a mess in terms of your credit issues, cash flow management, a lot of other problems. So growth is required, but we we'll have to look at sustainable growth. And then the other message, which I've always been saying, value add is important. Innovate your business, that's the way to go.